Uh, not my best work there. And I'm gonna give you three ways that you can become a better chipper and avoid shots just like that one. Let's take a look at the first thing. So you may have heard me talk about this before, but if you haven't, this is something that I'll tell all my students all the time. We've got to think about the loft that we're using. I just played that shot with a 60 degree. In my hand, I've got a pitching wedge and I've also got an eight iron. Because if we look at this shot now, I'm actually not faced with much trouble here. There's a slight undulation for me to get up onto the green but then I probably got about 12 to 15 yards actually from the start of the green up to the flag that is pretty flat and one of the most common things that I see people do is go straight for their most lofted club because we see it a lot on TV so we think that's what we've got to do we don't want to do that we want to try and use a little bit more of a flatter faced club wherever we can so whether it's an eight iron or whether it's a wedge and all you've got to do to determine which one you want to do is just look at what's in front of you here like I say I've probably got four paces where I've got to get up onto my flat stuff so my eight iron is probably not the club because I would have to try and lift it and it would mean it would come out a little bit too flat and a little bit too far and go shooting off as where a pitching wedge a nine iron now is actually just going to give me a little bit of elevation up over this initial slope and then let it run out it might be something where you've got no elevation and you would play a shot like that with maybe an eight iron or seven iron but let's try and see that we're not using anywhere near as much loft when we've got nothing in front of us because what we'll be able to do even if I catch it slightly heavy like I did with my original 60 even that one was a little bit skinny not my best shot I've actually now only got maybe 15 feet as a putt as where a slightly skinny one a slightly fat one with that lob wedge we all know it leads to trouble so make sure where you can try and use a slightly less lofted club Tip number two is all about picking a landing spot and you're probably wondering why I've got this with me, but come with me. On the shots when we're faced with chips around the greens, we want to read them almost a little bit like a putt. The previous chip I've hit actually swung a heck of a way towards the right hand side because I didn't really pick a landing spot. I just aimed dead at the flag and the slopes fed it around. We're hitting onto the green and it's going to be running like a putt. Why not read it like a putt? So what you want to try and do is pick a landing spot. Now for me, I'm trying to get quite accurate at the moment and pick something small that I'm landing towards. So depending on what club I would use, I pop it down where I think the appropriate flight needs to be to then let the ball run out towards my target. It might be that you use a tee peg, you might even use your towel, but if you can just think of this on the golf course, then we're gonna actually have something that we can land our golf ball towards. So I've got my spot now, and then once I get back to my golf ball, I might even have a walk up there when I actually am playing, but I can see a visual now of where I want to land it. And that's also a good mental trick because it stops me thinking about what I don't want to do, which is duff it into the slope. I can now stand over my golf ball, picking and looking at that spot, thinking, right, I need to just land my golf ball somewhere in and around that little landing area that I've chosen. And it should run out nicely towards the flag. So a little bit short, but it's actually taken a better line as we've gone through there. So tip number two, try and actually visualize the journey of the ball. You're using a little left loft, try and pick where you want to land it to see it run out towards your target. Guys, if you're enjoying this lesson as well, remember, hit that subscribe button down below, totally free to do. And also leave me a comment with something that you're struggling with in your game, and we'll get it in one of our next lessons. Let's find out the third and final thing that you need to do to be a better chipper. So the third and final thing we need to do is stop being so wooden. I would imagine you're watching this video because you struggle with chipping. Now, if you think how that makes you feel when you're stood over one of your chips, you probably start to get nervous, you feel a little bit cramped up, you feel restrictive, and you end up looking someone like who's gone really tight, and as they're swinging, there's no movement other than the arms. Legs are rock solid, chest is rock solid, head is not lifting up whatsoever. You're probably resonating with some of these thoughts now. But what we want to try and do is actually be a little bit more free, a little bit more flowing. We've got a good stance, but what I want you to try and do, imagine now if I'm looking at you here where my ball line is, I want to try and turn my vision towards the target as I'm watching that shot actually play out. So I'm not doing it as I'm hitting, 
what I want to try and do is make a good solid contact and as that ball's taking its journey up towards the flag, almost imagine now the middle of your body follows your club and what we'll see is that I actually turn up towards my target instead of the usual, did I duff it? No. What we want to try and feel is that we just have confidence and look almost a little bit looser, feel a little bit free. Just because it's a small chip shot, you still need to have a little bit of movement and start to see that you're turning towards your target. So don't be a player that is completely wooden because we'll see chicken wings, we'll see poor contacts. Try and start to get some nice little smooth turns towards the target, trusting your ability and actually letting the club and your body flow will allow you to get better strikes. So we're using less loft, I've picked my spot, and now I'm gonna turn up towards my target. And look at that, third and final shot is the best one we hit, all because I've done those three things that are gonna help me be a better chipper. Guys, I hope you've liked it. Hit the sub button. Remember, see you in your next lesson.